Welcome to Sanks to Sank TV, brought to you courtesy of First Ave Entertainment. I am your host, B. We thank you for joining us and Happy New Year. Thank you for following us on Instagram at SanksToSankTV.com. Also, please, if you want further information about us, advertisement, please check us out at www.SanksToSankTV.com. We have a packed show lined up for you. Stick and stay. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sanks to Sank TV. I am your host, B. Now, we are pleased to celebrate our seventh year anniversary. It's coming up here at Karua Fort Lauderdale on January 28th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Please come and join us and show us some love. We would also like to show you love for sticking and staying with us for seven years. Year completion, new beginnings. We also want to give Karua Fort Lauderdale a shout out because they have allowed us to be in the building for quite some time now. Thank you so much, Karoo. Stick and stay with us here at Sanks to Sank TV. You can find us at www.sankstosanktv.com. Also, you can find us on Instagram at Sanks to Sank TV. I'm your host, B, and we'll be right back. Yo pa konen kote nou soti. Watch Sanks Your Sank TV. SanksYourSankTV.com Yo pa konen ki bo nou prale. All we watch is Sanks Your Sank TV. Hey, SanksYourSankTV.com The greatest show right now. Na Sanks Your Sank. I watch that show every day. Sanks Your Sank with my shit. And you're watching Sanks Your Sank. Na Sanks Your Sank. Wè pa wè, flip a flip, toujou branche Sanks Your Sank TV. Sanks Your Sank, the best show right now. Na Sanks Your Sank, c'est la nou prale, yeah. You're watching Sanks Your Sank, and keep watching. Toujou gret Sanks Your Sank, chak semen. Sanks Your Sank TV, son TV show exceptionnel. Sanks Your Sank TV, da kom se lem gade chak show, man. I remember Sanks Your Sank. Every time Santa says keep it live. You're watching SankSealSankTV.com. Sink to sink. Music is live. Yeah, yeah.
Saint TV. I am your host, B, and we are here with Charlie T. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Thank I'm you. good. Thanks for joining us at Saints to Saint. Thank you for having me. Thank you as well. So look, I see that you're all over the place with your genres. Mm -hmm. So what's what's going on? Uh, I wouldn't say all over the place, okay. but um, I would say root is soul. That's, okay. You know, that's where the root is. Uh -huh. However, it's like you know a tree. You know you have branches of different varieties, and um, you know I dabble in pop, R and B, hip hop. So you don't like to be boxed in. Don't box me in. I got you. Can you. box me in an inspirational, as inspirational, but don't you know? I can do that in any type of. Okay. Well, not to be cocky, but just say, you know. <laughs> nah, I really, no, I'm just saying, you know, you be it's very okay creative. It's be confident. This is 2018. I'm confident, but Own I'm it. saying not cocky, but I'm okay, just saying okay. the variety is what comes with me. So I got it. I got it. it. So as far as when, when you hear that people say, okay, they're in one specific genre, mm -hmm. then how does that translate to you? Um, well, I basically state that, you know, my genre, when everybody asks, it's inspirational. Okay. So I start to knock out a lot of whatever genres may fall under foul. I mean, I don't know how you answer that. Ah. But um, I tell them inspirational. You will not catch me, you know, expressing myself in a vulgar, you know, way. I've noticed. Um, I don't curse. I try not to curse at least in my music. I, I don't curse outside, but, you know, maybe if I'm mad, but it's been a while since I've cursed. So. Awesome. Um, you know, I just, it's basically just taking on the role model. So have you always been that way or was it like a sudden change? I mean, no. I mean, I've always, I guess, knew right from wrong. Right. But, we you know, all we do. We all but... get tempted. But at the same time, it's like at some time, you got to kind of weigh out the options. You know, what's kind of holding you back, what's getting you forward, and just helping people has been helping me. That's awesome. So you're giving back to the universe, and in turn, it's reciprocated. So exactly. when you're saying when you're saying about inspiration, because when I think inspiration, I guess when most people, they think gospel, right? Mm -hmm. But you're more than just gospel because just it's gospel. not just... It's not just Christian music, right? Well, I mean, when I looked up gospel, because I was I was kind of stuck in the, I guess, the thought process of where would I fall? Right. And I'm not saying I couldn't do or I couldn't do my music in the church. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like there's more to do outside of the church. I love it. You feel me? So if I could bring people back to a church that's going to direct people in the right manner, then that's what I'm doing. But if not, people have to find their own way. But Speak on it. That's just where I'm at. But it's inspirational. You know, gospel, when I looked it up, it said truth. So if everybody's speaking this real music, aren't we all speaking some type of gospel? I know. I hear so, it. I mean. All right. So I notice in your lyrics. So you write your own music, right? I'm music. All right. So I've noticed what, what was very peculiar for me, which is, I guess, in this day and age, is that you do speak on love a lot. Yeah. And you're, you're at an age range where it's not that popular. I noticed. Yeah. But so. okay, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, I was just saying. I mean, I feel like love is what, for me, is worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, once you, you know, you go to work, you know, you take a shower, you eat, you work out, and blah blah blah. Once you chill, you're gonna be looking around like, what else? You know, what else is there to do? Right, and then right. you hit somebody up, and they're like, oh, let me hit you back because I'm chilling with my boo and blah 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 blah. Ah. I mean, we're all going to get there. Everybody wants to be loved. I mean, that's just what it is. <sighs> yes, we do. Let's just be real. We all want to be loved, but it's 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 a work, you know. It's work. It is a lot of work. So right. when you say that, what do you say to people who been there, done that, the experience haven't been quite as nice or pleasant as others? What would you say to that? Um, because all your music, to me, it's, well, I, I think I only listened to one song mm -hmm. where it talked about where there was a balance. But for the most part... It talks about the pleasantries of love. Well, I, I'm glad you felt that way because a lot of people, or a lot of times, I don't really get that in depth of a response of my music. Oh. So I really appreciate oh, that. No problem. But you kind of hit it on the head. Like the the pleasantry of love, you know, is what a lot of people miss. You know, we think we get it in a quick, you know, whatever it is, or you know, buying somebody this and that, and that's kind of like temporary. It is. But it's when you can stick together during those tough times and you really see what the love was really doing to hold your relationship together, then you value that, you know. Mm. You know, that, I mean, it's, it's, it's just me, I guess. I don't. So where you get all this knowledge from? This experience, you know, the, the older people, people who make mistakes, you know, I made mistakes. You just, you got to learn from them. You know, at some point in time, you just got to be like, all right, dang, you tripped, you tripped, you tripped. I'm not trying to trip. So when you sing too, I hear it like the sound is like coming from the soul. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's in-depth experiences that allow that 
music to translate to us, right? Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you add on that is not so pleasant? Hold that thought. We'll be right back <laughs> in a moment and Charlie T is gonna explain to us other, the other side of love. Other side. Check right. us out at www.sinkstosinktv.com. We're back at Sex Tank TV, and we're here with Charlie T, the crooner. Uh, <laughs> Can I call you a crooner? You call me the crooner. What okay. Is, what What do you mean by that? Because I don't really know what the crooner. I is. mean, like when you sing, there's a there is a certain style of singing. Well, I don't want to say old school, but when I think of a crooner, I think of like old school singers that really just I don't want to say bell chop, but they mm -hmm. just stand out and they just soulfully sing. Oh, I'll take but it. not all the crooners are soulful, but okay. Well, I take. Yeah. It's, it's a good it's a good thing i got you i take it <laughs> all right so before we left before we went to break we were talking about we, we mentioned the pleasantries of love right the good side the rainbows and the butterflies and but there is also another side of love as well so how come you don't you know mention that side um well i believe i do and, and i'll go ahead and let you all know that i do have pri uh, you know older music right right so i have a chemistry mixtape that was uh, released 2014. That okay. that basically has, you know, the good, the bad, you know, the the wonders of it. Okay. Like it's it's definitely a great project. You also check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, Charlie T. Theo Five Miami. Plug so, plug. The plug, you know. <laughs> but my newer music as well. Like I have a song that I'm going to release in the future. Um, I've performed it called the half. The half. Meaning you don't know the half. Okay. So, to answer your question, yes, I do try and dabble in all areas and not try and be um sugar coating of the subject right because it's very deep and not everybody's experience is the same right so um i just try and give not so much a personal but personal and i just kind of pick off the relationship off there and that's what makes it i guess so creative with my melodies and things like that so being that you have su such this eclectic way of expressing love so that means that your relationship is on board then well i mean we have our ups and downs and i am in a relationship shout out to my baby uh Aww. going on seven so it's <laughs> seven it's years going on seven Ooh, year completion yeah and i mean it's, it's a few relationships who I, you know I, i'm not going to say i know them you know personally but just you know you see on tv and sometimes people who actually hold on and it's like yo you know you hear about all the breakups the, the divorces and stuff it's like man i wonder how that feels to stay in something so strong, not right. to know you know, right, right. but to know that they still stay together. You know, it's like something had to work. So seven years. So when you tell people, because I'm not going to go there because oh, I'm right. sure she's watching. <laughs> when you tell people seven years, then mm -hmm. what is the follow-up question? Oh, 
I mean, it's changed over time. It's changed over okay. time. For the people who've seen, you know, and watched and stuff like that, uh -huh. it's like, you know, they're happy. But at first, you know, year two, you know, sometimes a year and six months, it's like, man, you still in a relationship? Yeah, you know? yeah. I'm like, dang, that, I, it felt like time flies, especially oh, when it's good. When you're having fun, right? Yes. So, so seven years, that's pretty dope. So that means that soon, soon and very soon. Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, we can go there. I mean, that's that's <laughs> the plan. But at the same time, it's still a lot we, we have to learn. Awesome. Like just like the, that. the fact that, you know, it's around us that people don't stay in relationships as long as we, we haven't mastered anything. So it's like we have a lot to, to learn. And I think that's just an opportunity to grow together. It is. So. so she's been with you along the way during your musical journey. You started when? Um, basically 07 and I met her 2012. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's seen your you evolve and everything. Basically, yeah. Notice I'm giving you a lot of a lot of props. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, back to your music. So you have um, three songs I, I I listened to and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so in depth, right? In addition to that, you also wanted to promote another um, big project that you have coming out. Most definitely. Thank you. Uh, the Chemist. Yes, yes, that's basically going to let everybody know um, where I'm going. Okay. with my music because it's not my first project but it'll just let people know okay well since you're so diverse you know where are you going and it's basically just the story you know what i'm talking about that's where i'm going with my music whether it's country rock r&b pop hip-hop like just listen okay so so if any genre someone just called you up and they said okay they wanted you to be featured on their record you'll go for it like you have no mm, well i'm sorry not to cut you uh -huh. off i mean you can kind of get an understanding of where i come from and right. the, the songs that i've released because right. i haven't done a country track you know right. i haven't done a hardcore metal rock track i mean it probably would be a nice experience yeah. but just to get heard you know just to be heard the r&b pop dance those are my feel like that's my feel that's where i kind of mess around with now it's okay. fun to me okay but um i love all type of genres if it sounds good okay as long as it fits under the motivational inspiring exactly realm. Gotcha. exactly gotcha. all right so we will have more from charlie t in a few stick and stay you guys and you'll get more information from our sponsors we'll be right back Yo pa konen kote nou soti. Watch 6 or 5 TV. 6 or 5 TV.com. Yo pa konen ki bo nou prale. All we watch is 6 or 5 TV. Hey, 6 or 5 TV.com. The greatest show right now. Na 6 or 5. I watch that show every day. 6 or 5 with my shit. And you're watching 5 sous 5. Na 5 or 5. Ah, we pa we flip a flip toujou branche 5 or 5 TV. 5 or 5, the best show right now. Na 5 or 5, c'est là nous prale, yeah. You're watching 6 or 5 and keep watching. Je regrette 5 or 5 chaque semaine. 5 or 5 TV, son TV show exceptionnel. 5 or 5 TV that comes to them garde chaque show, man. I remember 5 or 5. Every time Santa say keep it live. You're watching SinkSealSinkTV.com. Sink to Sink. Music is live. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, we're back at Sink to Sink TV. I'm your host, B. And if you weren't here, we are here with Charlie T. Hello, hello. Charlie T was explaining to us about his up and coming project, The Chemist, and he was telling us more details about it. So, what inspired you to do The Chemist? 
Well, basically, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, it's funny because um, I I think that I have a spiritual root. Um, so it's no, you definitely do. Oh, With thanks. all this, <laughs> this feng shui, everything is yeah. You definitely <laughs> appreciate it. But it's funny because I, I I never thought science was like an enemy. And I've growing up, people always made science like the enemy of spirituality. And I always oh. thought it was like the physical, you know, showing of what spirituality can do to an extent mm. so that's why i said the chemist and um basically the chemist is just basically not me i don't consider myself a scientist but just i like the idea of okay the thought of messing around with different chemicals such as elements or emotions and i'm um, like just that. seeing how they interact and that's how you would i guess see what my music does because you care through my music so you feel like science is an enemy to spirituality? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I was saying growing up, oh, hearing is like, oh, okay. science is this, science right, is that, right. blah, blah, so blah, you, blah. Okay. And just taking a few courses and just digging into a lot of the things that make up science. It's like they it's can coexist. Coexist. Yeah. Definitely. And um, so you're saying, chemist, when you're saying it's like the music, musicality, like the the different um, beats and the different. Yeah, the meshing of the sounds and the lyrics and all of that that makes up a substance and a well, compound i guess that's just the audio side of it. okay you know if you want to get technical and he and he's very talented because oh, you don't you. only you don't only write your music but you do a little bit of engineering well yeah i'm trying yeah, yeah thank yeah. you <laughs> thank he does you a lot of, he does a lot more the, the only thing that you haven't really dabbled in is the beats yeah i haven't yeah, yeah made it yeah, i've made a beat yet but um i plan on making at least one yes, beat that's what it you know means. just to try it out you know try yeah. some things out but um you would get basically the meshing of you know the motion the motion is like one i guess you can say factor of right. the experiment so you can picture yourself in a lab room um as a musician or an artist and you're messing around with how to get or what utensils to use to get your emotions out gotcha. so you have a mic you have a computer you have you know different people's relationships you have the stage you have mm -hmm this platform right and all that makes up your project so when you're when you're doing that so you have procedures right when you're doing a scientific project you have procedures like certain steps that you take mm -hmm. do you have specific steps like you go in there structured or is it okay I'm gonna let my artistry just speak for itself well it's funny because um, what I've noticed is that ever since I was a, a young boy I used to like lay down and I like just bop my head like you know I put my head under a pillow and I just close my eyes and I just think about what the beat would tell me or how it would make me feel okay and i mumble the mumbles turn into slight words words right, turn right. into a hook verses and then it all just right so together. so now that you've come to this point in your career mm -hmm. is it the same or do you say okay now i need to be more structured mm -hmm. now okay no i need to sit down paper and pencil and mm -hmm. do do you do that or i said paper pencil did i age myself uh, <laughs> technology okay you record it hey, i still write okay, i still write right. i mean I, I i switch it up i have some stuff on my phone i have some stuff you know on the uh in the notepad and i feel like you know there's nothing wrong with old methods right you feel me like but have an open mind to newer ways because it can save some time, money, energy, whatever, you know. So what can we expect from the chemist? Well, you can expect definitely feel, you know, feel good music. Um, ah. Just the, I, I'm, I'm all about uplifting and not to say that you can't talk about anything without um, going there and, and shedding a tear. Right. But don't end it with a tear. Like end it ah. with the hug, end it with the, you know, a solution or some type of advice. I love the solution part. The solution yeah. part, you feel me? Like if you're going to take me there, have me, you know, sniffing and crying, like what's next? So you don't like to leave people on that suspense where, okay, uh, well, yeah, like I'm on the edge of my seat now. <laughs> I mean, nah. We're now going to commercial break and we don't know what's about to happen. So you glue there. You don't like that? I don't mind it. Okay do it but you were gonna follow up for me okay. I'm I feel like you know I've been left hanging with a lot of things you know ah. so with what I would like to do is you know at least give some type of advice you don't have to take it right. but you can't say that I didn't try right you know so have you ever performed somewhere or a place and the energy just wasn't right and then it's like it it, it, it off balances your sound and your delivery of the material <laughs> um it's funny because I wouldn't say the energy just wasn't right because what I'm trying to do is uplift. So even if it's one person, you know, nine times out of ten, the energy may be wrong, I guess, if that makes sense. But I like that. Um, you just kind of I, I don't really think about it. If something does bother me, it'll be like, you know, like the mic and stuff like that. Because okay, I figure technical. like technical. I feel like, you know, we give that so much power. Why isn't this thing working? 
right. so you know okay you charlie know. t all right so keep it with that same energy you guys stick and stay with us we're going to our next commercial break we'll be right back We're back, Sanks to Sanks TV. I am your host, B. Look, if you want more information about Sanks to Sanks TV, please feel free to contact us at www.sankstosanktv.com. So, Charlie T, you were yes. telling us about energy. You were telling about us about all these great things that you're spitting out in the universe. What <laughs> advice do you have for someone who's up and coming in this music industry? Um, don't stop. Mm. That's that's get it, get it. To be honest, that's the most consistent <laughs> answer I've heard. Like, don't, don't stop. stop. Because okay. what happens is it's like you get annoying or somebody gets annoyed with you knocking on the door, so they come to see who's knocking. Mm. You know who said that? DJ Khaled. Hmm. He said he was so annoying, he would knock on everyone's door, go to them, they would tell him no, 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 and he kept going, kept going, kept going, till he was a nuisance. He was really mm -hmm. a nuisance. But look at him now. So that's pretty good advice. So have you ever had the urge to stop? Oh, of course. Okay. I mean, when you have to, you know, still work your job, you know, things don't pop when, you know, you want them to pop. Right. It's like, it's those times where you feel like quitting. And it sounds cliche. Right. But when you really listen or see somebody who said it and, you know, they still persevered, it's like, dang, you know, just try. Just keep trying. Yeah, tell us about that side. Because oftentimes we, we see the stories. We see, okay, this person is now this big mega star. But we don't hear that, okay, this person had a regular normal nine to five before they made it. So a lot of times people who are in the industry are up and coming. They feel like, okay, I'm just going to I'm just going to do what I got to do. Put the, push the music out there and then I blow up. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily work like that, right? You got to respect the process. You got to respect the process. I mean, whatever the process is. Right. And I say that because, you know, not to say that there aren't main steps such as making a song, you know, getting it copyrighted and all these other things. But at the same time, how it's done and who you have to go through, those things vary all the time. Right. And, um, you know, it's not to be, you know, not to say like, oh, you know, I don't need your help or anything like that because I always, you know, welcome help. You feel me? But sometimes it's always not the best help. Right. So in addition to that, a lot of people are going independent. They're doing their own thing because they want all of their coins, right? They mm -hmm. want to keep the bag on for themselves, the money, right? Mm -hmm. So what advice do you give people that? Because that, I mean, although it sounds, it sounds great, mm -hmm. right, for you to have everything. However, that process in itself is, is a long, hard process. It, it is. And um, I would say for anybody who thinks about doing it, it's like, you know, okay, you have all your money. 
then when you think about all the things you have to do, it's like, what are you willing to pay for? What are you willing to save your money for? Right. Give the people their money. I mean, mm. and I mean, like, you know, the photographers, videographers and stuff like that. And everybody has different prices and stuff. I'm not saying you have to go out there and pay some crazy price. Right. But know that you have to pay for something. Yes. And once you can understand you can pay, you have to pay for at least something, you're willing to go out there and invest and do the things that you need to do. And I think that's the start. So you believe in investing in yourself? Yeah, it's an investment. I mean, if, if it's something that you want to do and you're w working on other people's clocks and times to do something that you want to do, you're investing your time, I believe, if you see it that way, to go do something that you don't want to do for yourself. So what is your advice for people who have made it and then unfortunately, financially, they're not quite there yet because of contractual clauses? Uh Oh, man. Well, you definitely got to read. And I mean, not to say that like you're just going to read it and understand, but you read it to try and understand. And what you don't understand, you go ask a question to somebody who does or who has experience. And um, in the long run, you, you create that ladder for yourself. You give people their props and credit. It makes people feel good when you actually go to a lawyer or go to somebody who's went to school or who studied that, you know, not to say they went to school, but who's just taking the time to learn it. And um it just comes back to you. It's like what you put in it. You know, if you want to know something, somebody will come and tell you something. So how did you find out first that you know how to sing? Like who, 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 did, <laughs> who told you? Like, what was that experience like? When did you get that aha epiphany moment? Um, I guess, well, you know, I used to sing in the church and ah. you kind of get people will tell you that you can't sing. But when you start off young, it's like they encourage you to sing. Right. So if you can sing, somebody may tell you a little bit more than, you know, not to say other kids or anything like that, but you may just hear it a little bit more often than you might have heard somebody else get it, you know, the compliment or something right. like that. And, you know, I try not to compete or compare myself because it's not a competition. You compete against yourself. Yeah. So yes. can you give us a snippet? Oh, of course. Um, well, I have a, a single, which I could give you a, a snippet of, called Higher Frequency, mm -hmm. that is on um, the Chemist EP that is getting ready to come out. So um, I'll give you a snippet of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've performed it already, but it's not released yet. So. Okay. Seeing how we're gazing, the feeling so amazing, somewhat of a chasing, should I go and make a move? So what are we waiting for? I'm trying to understand what you want, but I'ma be patient till you show me what to do. Your frequency makes me believe you want to see what things could be, but you're uncertain. Oh, oh, oh. And then it goes into the hook. Okay. Appreciate it. So that's, you know, just a little single and that, that high I frequency. mean, it was just a little something, little something. Little something, something, little something, something, something. That was, uh, see, this is why we have him on our show. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Big, up, big, up. big awesome. up, see Thank y'all awesome. for having me. Look, you guys better stick and stay with us because when we come back, he's going to tell you where you can locate him for any bookings or any future information that you may want from him. Stick awesome. and stay. We'll be right back. Yo pa konen kote nou soti Watch 605TV 605TV.com Yo pa konen ki bo nou prale All we watch is 605TV Hey, 605TV.com The greatest show right now Na 605 I watch that show every day 605 Red Brun Shit And you're watching 605 Na 605 Wè pa wè, flip a flip toujou branche 605 TV 605, the best show right now Na 605, c'est là nou prale You're watching 605 and keep watching Toujou gret 605 chak semen 605 TV, son TV show exceptionnel 605TV.com, c'est le mou gade chak show men I remember, 605 Every time Santa said keep it live. You're watching Sync Seal Sync TV dot com.
right back at Sanks to Sanks TV, and we're here with Charlie T, and he just blessed us with his vocals thank and you, his you, um, track Frequency. Higher Frequency. Higher Frequency. You had it, you had it. Okay, because all I remember is Frequency, don't let me sing. <laughs> so, who would you like to work with, or who influences you in the music industry? You know, it's funny, um, the person who influenced me the most, well, I would say, like, of course, I love Michael Jackson. That was my, ah. you know, rest in peace. That was my favorite artist. I think a lot of people's favorite artists. But... It's, and it's a lot of people, you know, no disrespect to anybody, but what got me, like, really going is, like, dang, you know, I respect Chris Brown. Oh. Because he's close to my age. Okay. And it's like, I, I, you know, I saw him more on TV than other people. Okay. And it's like, yo, that's inspiring that this man is, like, close to my age and he's doing his thing. Not to say I know how he got there. Yeah, what was stuff. his last album? How many tracks? Wasn't like 40 something? Oh, I know it was a lot. Like it was like 100. Oh, see. <laughs> no, it probably I was, was 40, but it was it was like uh, over the top. <laughs> it was a lot, but I mean, he's very talented, man. Very. And I think, you know, you do some hot stuff, but it's a lot of different, like baby face I would like to work with. Ah, baby um, face. You shoot. took it back. Yeah, I mean, because it's a lot of the R&B older people. Um, okay. Boys the Men. Boys the Men. That's ancient for you, That's, huh? I mean, <laughs> just to have, you know, just to have them write something and just, okay. you know, let me know how they would sing it and okay. then try and see if I could do it. Okay. Just to have the mentor. That'd be cool. So you like, because everyone you named is like in the R&B realm. So that's pretty much who inspires you. Like yeah. I mean, I love, I feel like that touches me the most. Okay. However, it's, I listen to all type of music. I mean, it's just, I haven't really thought about that because I was just trying to get in. Wow. So you feel like this is your purpose? This is your divine purpose? I, I, I think so. I mean. That's awesome that you figured that out. I mean, I, I, I just truly believe it, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't say I figured it out, but I feel strongly about it. That's awesome. So what is it that you would like to leave in the universe? I guess just the path to, to, to get there, to get started. And whatever start it is, whether it's, you know, a label or, you know, properly, you know, protecting your, your songs and stuff like that. Because I read up on a lot of those things. Right. Because, you know, independent you have to know, I would think you would want to know a lot of this stuff since you're kind of running it yourself. Right. So if somebody else does take over, at least you can act like you know what they're talking about and right. not just be in another room doing something else. Uh, which brings <laughs> us to, I see a lot of artists, they are now going back to college, they're going back and getting their degrees, and they're going to Ivy League, like Switch mm. Beats. He went to, what is it, Harvard, I believe? Did he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I he graduated know. from Harvard, and then I, I think LL Cool J is mm. at um, Ivy League and it's and it's lesson. very impressive because um, when I listened to Swiss Beats reason he said it's because he wanted to know the business and not sit in a boardroom and just have everyone speak on his behalf. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. So do do how do you weigh that? Do you feel like you need to have that side of it as well? I mean, I don't feel like I need to know everything because it is time consuming. Right. I mean, you have to study that stuff. I mean, the, just the basics of how to maybe upload something like a song to somewhere you know, save you some money or, you know, see, see the person that who you are paying is doing it right. Cut the middleman <laughs> out. Right. That's what you want to do. Cut the middleman. So where can we find more information about you, your up and coming projects? First of all, up and coming um, projects, any events that you would like us to, you know, go and show you some love at? I mean, of course, I appreciate it. Um, I'm doing an event called Higher Frequency on the 11th. That's actually it's two. Uh, on the 11th, that's going to be at uh, the Lion's Den Hollandale, and then I will be in Little Haiti at the Little Haiti Cultural Yay. Arts Center um, on the 28th for a Magasia Promotions uh, showcase. Okay. And hopefully, I can stop by the Cairo Complex and show some love yes, here. Yes, show us some of love. Of course, I got to come here. Of course, of course. So <laughs> yeah, that's basically where you can um, uh, catch me doing um, with the social media, Instagram, right. official O F F I C I A L right. underscore Charlie C H A R L I E T. Twitter's the same thing. Um, ReverbNation.com is like my house. Okay. So that's, you can get my, uh, I guess my network stuff there. So mm -hmm. it's CharlieT305.com, basically. Thank you so much, Charlie Thank T, you. for joining us. Thank you for shedding some knowledge. Thank you for having me. Like, no problem, no problem. Very good. You guys, we thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you could have been anywhere, flipping through channels, but you're stuck and you stay with us and we appreciate you for that. Thank you so much, Karoo of Fort Lauderdale for having us here. You've been in on our side for quite some time now and we, we're so forever grateful for that. Also, you guys, on January 28th, that is our big event. We're going to celebrate our seventh annual, our anniversary pretty much, 
for being in existence. And we thank you so much. We couldn't have done it without you. If you want more information about us, please contact us at www.sinkstosanctv.com. Also, locate us on Instagram on TV. I am your host, B. You can find me at B Longchamp on Instagram. It's been good. Happy 2018. Have a great day.